Hello everyone, your boy Johnny here, and I just have something that just came out of the oven, and it is da -da -da -da, this quiche. It is a quiche. I will slice it later and try it for you guys at the end of the video. But if you want to learn how to make this the dough, how to have choices for toppings, or um, just to stay tuned because this one is a banger. I am telling you guys already. And uh, all the descriptions for all the ingredients will be listed below. So if you have any doubts, just check it out right there and just jump right into it. Yeah? If you want to learn how to make your quiche with this beautiful golden caramelized uh, dough, stay tuned. Hello you guys, so here you have two cups and a half of flour, you're gonna put a whole stick of butter in there, you can chop it off, you can just make sure you are caressing the dough and making the butter disappear, incorporate slowly. Then you're gonna add, when you feel like it's incorporated, add your egg, you can whisk it a little bit like a did. put your salt in there, you need seasoning, you need seasoning, and then slowly incorporate the milk. Don't put all of it at once because you may just ruin everything. You may not need all the milk. Make sure your dough is not sticking as you can you guys can see it in the video and at this point just wrap it in with some plastic. Put in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. Hello everybody so here we are and as you guys saw earlier we had the dough. I have it like it was in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. It can be in the refrigerator for up to up to five days. As long as you remove it, you can freeze it too. I believe it would like work in the freezer for at least a month. So I have here, this is a very clean surface. And I have here some flour just to make sure that the dough is not gonna stick. And we are going to roll it out. So to roll it out, we're gonna use a bottle of either wine or anything you have at home that is easy. Okay, let's press it down, let's give it a good shape. And start rolling it out. So here we are everybody, we have the dough in this, in this shape, I have this um, tray over here, like the, it's not too deep, I think it's going to be perfect for this recipe, so we just like carefully remove the dough and carefully place on top of the dish. Here we are, and carefully we're just gonna like let the dough relax in there. We are stressed, but the dough doesn't have to be right. Because what is important is that after you cut all of the excess uh, dough, you're going to put this in the oven at 380 degrees for 10 minutes. And before you do that, just make sure you make a lot of holes with a fork all over the bottom. And then you're gonna put something on top of it to weigh it down. You know, make sure that everything has holes in them, everywhere. And I am going to cover the bottom of this pan with some rice. And I'm gonna put it in the oven. And the rice is gonna make sure that the dough is not gonna be like getting weird and the shape's gonna be maintained because of the weight of the rice and i will show what i have prepared for you guys in a little bit but for now let me put this in the oven okay and i'll be right back my dough just came out of the oven as you can see it's starting to brown it's not too brown yet because it's still gonna go back in the oven so we are going to put our fillings in here and I have two options. 
So I have here in this Ziploc bag, not fancy, but works, just some shredded chicken. Just chicken that I bought or that I cooked with some vegetable stock. I added some more veggies and seasoning. And I have here another option that is actually vegetarian. In this other Ziploc bag, Ziploc bag, <laughs> I have some beets. And these beets I roasted in the oven. Look at this, how beautiful color. I didn't cook them in the water. I roasted them in the oven with some aluminum foil. Let it get like soft and cooked. Then I chopped and threw it on a pan with some garlic. Um, garlic, thyme, uh, some uh, lemon zest, lemon juice. You need some lemon to give some acidity. And uh, in the end, after it you know, after it cooked and developed the flavors, I added some feta cheese. I'm gonna add to my egg mixture, sorry, it said four eggs, four eggs, a third of a cup of cream, uh, some cheese, salt and pepper, and you just mix enough to make sure that the egg whites and the egg yolks are totally mixed. You don't want to have clumps like as if you were eating an omelet. That's not what we want. And we just place all over the, all over your quiche until, oh, this is just perfect. Because as you guys can see, it's just above the surface. Okay, everybody, so if you are wanting to see before I put it in the oven, so here it is, just covered with the egg mixture, and I will be back to show this after it's cooked. Hmm. Ah. Ah, oh my god, look at this. Well, we can notice something green on top of it. I just slide some green olives, because I love green olives. Uh, on top of it, just a little bit, the side that has the beets, you clearly can see the beets. I was even thinking that the beets would make everything red, but it didn't. It, I mean, you can see the beets throughout. Oh, so pretty. The, the chicken one, it is like totally loose, so like, it really doesn't get stuck to your pan. Let me cut a slice and show you guys what I'm like, gonna also serve it with. Be right back. So here it is, I have here for you guys the chicken, a slice of the chicken part of the, of the quiche. And look at that, look at the color, look at the steam. I can see it from here, I don't know if you guys can. And I'm serving with just an arugula salad with some salsa on top, like a fresh salsa homemade. And I can't wait to begin, you guys. Of course, if you don't like chicken or don't like beets, you can always change for broccoli, spinach. I think the classics are like asparagus or spinach and broccoli. Vegetarian options are great for breakfast. You can just put like whatever veggies you have in hand and a little bit of eggs and bacon on top. Of course, if you're gonna use bacon, you have to fry the bacon prior but just an example so i'm going to dig in let me try slice Ooh. can you guys see the steam mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so good mm. the dough is crunchy flaky and buttery oh my god so good well i have to go now guys Thank you so much for staying here. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Bye.